Hey coaches, in today's video, I'm going to go over the two ways we run our shallow crossing series. Hey coaches, Coach Mackey here, and welcome to my channel. This channel is dedicated to the spread offense, and if you enjoy learning about the spread offense, then please subscribe to my channel. I put a video out every Saturday morning at 1030, and if you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with someone. Now, I love the shallow crossing series. I think it's the best, one of the best plays in football, and it's something you want to have in when teams decide to blitz. So in today's video, I'm going to go over the two different ways we run it with our two slot receivers. Now, if you do anything different, please leave a comment below. And if you teach it differently, please leave a comment below. I want to get better at this because I love this play, and I'm always looking for little tweaks and things to do to get better at it. So coaches, we're on the right hash. We want to run our shallow cross series. So that means we're going to be bringing either the Y or the R across and running the drag. For us, we have only done the F and the Y. So that means that we are going Y shallow. The Y then is running his shallow one step toward the line, straight across, not slowing down, going as fast as he can. He wants to beat the defense to the other sideline. The L and the R then know unless their route is tagged. Standard way is they're running verticals straight up the field, blowing the top off the coverage. They need to go. Since the Y is running the shallow cross, the F is running the dig route. Quarterback, you were, I mean, the tailback, you were running the shoot route to the shallow crosser's side. There we go. Same play. It's beautiful. Beautiful. The only key thing is you need to teach the guys that are running the dig to outside release the man head up to inside of them to turn their hips so they don't see the shallow cross. That is an important tip to do. Quarterback, your progression, one to two to three. So you're just taking a three-step drop, one, two, three, looking in this area. Is there a different color jersey in that area? No, throw, a, <laughs> again, I can't stress this enough, a catchable ball so they can catch it and get up field. If there is color in this area, then you're hitching and finding the dig route. Now remember, the dig route is looking for grass. So they're going to push it to 10, turn up, and then they're looking for grass. And when they find grass, they're going to just throw hands like it's a settle up and noose drill. So the quarterbacks give them a little bit. It's, it's drag, dig, and then if there's color in that dig area, then you're going to hitch up and you're going to throw to the running back. If there is no color, which means you can see the wide receiver throwing his hands up wide open, then you give it to him. But again, if there is color here, hitch up, go to your third progression, which is the tailback. For the love of everything that is holy, quarterbacks, find the running back. Defenses hate covering the running back. Big vertical vertical and the back is swinging to the Y side now the quarterback I want you to see looks here this is this guy's the potential guy that could get in the grass area we got to see what he does so the quarterback sees him drop off one two three look nobody in the grass area you just throw a catchable ball right there and let him do his thing he catches it, gets upfield. That's a two-yard pass that got us 26 yards and a first down. So we're on the left hash, and we want to run our shallow cross series. That means we're going to bring the crosser from the left side. Now, again, we only do the F and the Y, so that means that it's going to be Y shallow. Anytime the L's and the R's here shallow without their route being tagged, it is a vertical route so they just take off they're blowing the coverage off the top the f now he is running the drag so he is taking one step that initial step is pointed to the line of scrimmage and then he is hauling butt to the opposite side of the field he does not slow down he is going as fast as he can because he knows that anytime he passes that center he could get the ball and once he gets the ball he wants to put his foot in the ground and get north and south as fast as possible since the F is running the shallow, that means the Y is running the dig, the 10 yard dig, and he is hunting for grass. That's where I got that. I stole that from Chris Hatcher, the hunt route. He is looking for grass area and to throw up his hands. The tailback, he is running his shoot, 
to the side wherever the shallow crosser is. So if the F is running it, that's the way he's going it because it's to the left. Quarterback, you are looking one to two to three. One, two, three. Plant, is there color in this grass area? A different color jersey. No, throw the ball. Throw a catchable ball. Don't try to take the guy's head off, but get it there. Let him catch the ball and do what those wide receivers do best, which is to make plays. If there is color in that grass area, you hitch up and then you find the dig. Now give the dig just a little bit of time because if it is a zone, if the defense is running zone, he is going to hunt up grass. So that means he could stop here, find grass. He could find grass here. He could find grass here. Just give him a second. If there is color, then you're not going to throw it. If there's no color, you're going to hitch up. Once you see the receiver's hands, you throw it to him and he'll catch, turn, and get up the field. If there is color in that area, then you hitch up and you find the back. For the love of God, find the back. Defenses do not like to cover the back. All right, coaches, so we're again, we're on the right hash. Now, this time we switched our F and our Y, so the F is to the right. This is our F. This is our Y. He is going to be running F shallow, so he's running the shallow. He's running the dig. Vertical, vertical. Back is releasing this way. This guy right here is the potential grass defender. So this is what the color is the quarterback's looking for. Now when he drops back, you can tell that they're going to be bringing blitzing pressure. This is a great play when teams decide to bring the blitz. So the quarterback gets it. One, two, three. He sees this. the grass defender is gone. All this area, we're blitzing, so he just drops it off. He just drops it off, and now you got a guy that's just out in space, one of your fastest guys, doing what he does best, making plays. There you go, coaches. Those are the two ways we run our shallow cross series. If you do anything different, please, again, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you guys. If you find this video helpful or you enjoy learning about the spread offense, then please subscribe and give it a thumbs up and share it with someone. And until next time, coaches, remember, let's continue to master the spread, score points, and have fun.